or not, only 80% of drivers out there wear seatbelts when they're out on the road. And if you get into an accident like this, not having a seatbelt, well, that could seriously injure you. In fact, Detective Seth Tyler with the Chandler Police Department knows this firsthand. When you show up and you're not wearing a belt, your body just reacts in a way when it stops immediately. Correct. Good morning. This type of collision, as you can see, it's it's not an extremely violent collision. Mm -hmm. But um, as you guys look inside the vehicle, the airbags didn't deploy. So in this case, it's vital that the occupant was wearing his or her seatbelt to prevent any injury because your body is going to continue moving forward. And if you're not wearing your seatbelt, your body's going to move forward into the steering column right. until that energy is transferred to the vehicle. So click it or ticket is out there. It's a statewide deal. You guys are working with Phoenix PD, Mesa PD, everybody, DPS and such. You're actually really focusing on watching people driving to see if they got their belts on. Correct, and for our traffic unit, uh, it's really not anything different that they're doing. The mm -hmm. one thing that this, this campaign allows us to do is to put more resources out into the street where those resources can focus solely on the seatbelt enforcement. And you're also making sure that children are belted correctly. That is correct. Uh, the only primary stop in Arizona for a seatbelt is for a child that is two and under. So if one of our officers is, is driving, if they see what they believe is a child that's two years or younger, bouncing around in the back seat of the vehicle, they can make that stop without any, uh, any other violation. Okay. Speaking of seatbelts, they only work properly if everything is working literally correctly with the belt itself. I've got Frank Lloyds here. He's with Desert Car Care. And you guys are actually uh, offering free inspections. We're doing a courtesy inspection. Uh, we want folks to understand that if that seatbelt light is on, yeah. there's a problem in the system. When the belt's connected. When the belt's connected. So we get in this rhythm of, oh, it feels like it latched. It feels good. And that light's been on forever and a day. There's a problem in the system. It's not going to work when it needs to. There's a lot more to a seatbelt than I expected. Yeah, you know, this is a seatbelt retractor. You know, it's hidden on the pillar behind the plastic covers. Um, there are various sensors that pick up sudden stops and deceleration uh, to lock this webbing up. And of course, there's the web pull off in a, an extreme uh, collision where that will actually lock up. So lots of stuff going on, you know, and as a courtesy, we want folks to come by. I want to really call to attention to our first time drivers. Yeah. Uh, there's a high rate of uh, fatalities, quite frankly, where seatbelts aren't worn by these kids. So we want st everyone to stop by. We'll give a courtesy check and make sure everything's good to go. Sounds good, Frank. All right. And Thank you guys you, are located at the corner Chandler of Chandler Dobson. Yes, absolutely. I'll click it or take.